Hello automators, thanks for tuning in again. I'm Brian from Automate Your Life and today I'm going to take the frustration out of automation by helping you integrate these two brands. We can get Govi and Samsung SmartThings working together. It does take a few steps, but let's get right into it. I can't take credit for the code that's going to be used here. These guys produced this and they deserve probably a beer bought by each and every one of us because I think a lot of you are going to love this integration. They have a pretty comprehensive list of devices that they say works with this integration method, but I actually have devices that are outside of the integration method and those are working today, including that one behind me. Down below in the description, there are two URLs that I'm giving you that you will need for this integration. We're going to start at the first one, which is called Index. And that one is going to be opened on a computer, whether it's a PC or a Mac, that's up to you. I'm using a PC today, but you'll need to start there. And then you're going to need to grab your smartphone with the Govi app on it as well. Doesn't matter if that's Android or iOS. We're going to copy the code from the index file and I had a look at the code here I don't see anything malicious and I copied it onto my website in order to make sure that the code you're using on your computer today is the exact same as the code I used and was safe on mine didn't have any malicious code and ran perfectly that index file is the first one that we need to copy and so I'm going to highlight all of the code and then copy. Next I will open a text file on my computer and I've just right clicked inside of any folder and I've chosen to start a new text file. Then I open it and I paste the code we just copied into it. From there, we'll go up to File and choose Save As. And I'm choosing Save As and then I'm adjusting to all file types. And what I'm typing in is index.html. Then I'm hitting Enter or Save and it's creating an index file that looks like we could open it with a web browser. And that's exactly what you're going to do next. So double click it or open it however you would on your computer and use your default browser. Now I'm using Chrome and it worked perfectly opening up locally on my computer with the Chrome browser. So we've got that opened up, but next we're going to use our phones and go into the Govi application. Then we're going to navigate over to the About Us section, and this is About Govi. Then you're going to find an option to request an API key. So this, when you fill out this form, what you will get is an email with a specialized key in it. You need to keep that email and you need to keep it handy. Then we are going to skip back to that index file that we've opened up in the web browser on our computer. And what you'll notice towards the top of that web page that has been opened is that there's a tab for configuration. You're going to go into that and we will be pasting this API key that you got from Govi's email directly into here and then hit get configuration. What should happen at this moment is every single device in the Govi application should show up and you'll see the names on the left column. In the middle, you're going to see the model number and on the right, you're going to see a device ID. Just leave this page sitting here right now and we're going to instead jump over to the smart things side of things. So you'll need to open up a new browser window and you can just open up a new tab if you'd like and we're going to head to account.smartthings.com and then you'll need to log in with your SmartThings or your Samsung account. Once you're logged in up in the very top, you're going to go to the device handler section and then you're going to hit create device handler. And when you do that, you'll notice three tabs over on the left for this device handler creation process and you're going to choose from code. The code we need to grab now is in the second URL that I have put down below. Now this is what's called the groovy code and you need to grab all of this just the same as you did with the index file and you're going to copy that. Then you're coming back to that page you just opened where it says from code and you're creating this new device handler and you're going to paste all of that groovy device handler code into there. 
Then it's a couple of buttons to hit create and to publish and then for me, and that means for you, not for me, but it's for me that you're going to press. What that has done is created a new device handler that we can use whenever we have new devices in the SmartThings application. And what you'll wanna do is look at the list of my device handlers now and make sure that you have one that is named this. If you don't, redo the steps, make sure you're hitting that publish and for me. We're going to stay inside of the IDE, or that's what this is called, and we're gonna head over to the list of devices. So click on devices up at the top of the browser window, and then you're going to hit create new device. The top two boxes here, you get to pick. I would fill them out exactly the same, and this is essentially what will be the name inside of the SmartThings application. The next box is Zigbee ID, and you're going to leave that blank. The next box you have to be a little bit careful with. You can't put spaces in this, there's no special characters, but I would essentially put what you did in the top two boxes without spaces or with underscores. Now you pick that, but it has to be unique. Next, we're going to choose the device type and you're going to scroll probably what is all the way to the bottom and here is where you're picking that same name that you had in the list of device handlers. Once you pick that, you're going to go and pick your location and your hub that you would like to use this with and then you're going to hit create. We're not quite done here. As you return to the page that you just created for the device, well, we have to hit the edit button and it's not that one down at the bottom, it's this one instead that you have to hit edit on and then we're going to put in some additional information. If you remember, we created the configuration or we hit that get configuration button over on our index web page. What we're going to need from there is to pick the device ID and the model number out for the device that we are creating here in the IDE. That means that we have three things to fill out on this page. The far left one is from the email you got from Govee, that's your whole API key. The middle one is your device ID, so you're going to pick that out of the list from your configuration page and you're going to copy that and paste it into that middle box. Then on the far right hand side you're going to put the model number from that same row on the configuration page. You're going to paste that in the far right box on this page and when you're ready to go you can go ahead and save that. This is now the exciting part. So you can go into the SmartThings application and you can control your light. You're not going to have access to everything here. So you don't get your scenes, you don't get the music modes, but you do get color control, you get dimmer control, you get on and off, and you can see that you can create some of those basic timer automations. Plus, you can actually create automations. What I'll tell you is that the actions are going to work for you. All of those devices, they're gonna be perfect when you're using them as an action or as an event. If you use these devices as a trigger, there's one little nuance here that I have to tell you about. If you were to turn on the device using the dimmer control, which you can do inside of the device page, it doesn't change the status immediately on or for the on off component here. So you don't necessarily wanna turn it on that way within the SmartThings application. You always want to be turning it on or off as an action or using the little buttons as you control it. That will ensure that the device status changes and then any triggers off of that will work at that point. Now that you've got this all set up, you're going to want to get more out of Samsung SmartThings. So my playlist of hidden tips and tricks for Samsung SmartThings, right there. And if you wanna know more about Govee products, well, I've got a playlist right there. Check those out. They'll tell you which ones are gonna work with this new integration method. Otherwise, thanks for watching today. And of course, don't hate, automate.